Uh, this is a difficult one. Why does it matter? Uh, the thing is that self-esteem and group esteem are tied together and uh, uh, categorizing them independently is quite difficult, you know. You can't actually really do that because uh, uh, they are related and they actually factor into individual achievement. That is the funniest thing. Group esteem. How you feel about your group can factor into your indi in in individual achievement. And uh, the problem is that this thing actually has uh, moral implications. It has moral implications. I will make this as brief as possible. Uh, the thing is that, here you go. There is a way you feel about yourself. That is self esteem. And that is the way you feel about your group. That is a group esteem. Uh, those who uh, feel highly about your group, they feel pretty well about their group, uh, have, uh, they can actually possess higher self-esteem than those who feel less about, about their group. And the thing is that uh, some part of uh, someone in your uh, group could be highly successful and uh, you feel like we are responsible for this. We are responsible for this. And my group is responsible for this or someone in my group actually made this happen so you it factors into your group uh group esteem the thing is that it, it really shouldn't bore you know uh humans cannot feel valued in in an interpersonal vacuum we feel valued in relative to others in relativity to others and uh, uh in and in our society you know greatness doesn't mean anything independently unless it is uh compared to others you know that's the thing humans can't feel valued of course we can in some sense actually feel value uh, feel a sense of self-esteem uh independently like uh, in my conversation with yaron brook recently he said you can feel valued if you were act to actually feel this uh, is self sense self, self esteem if you were actually to complete maybe solve a difficult math problem you can actually feel valued feel uh pretty well about yourself and that is actually individually but you know that is not the kind of uh, value we feel that actually makes life worth living that we think our life requires that helps us get out of bed in the money you know not really we want to feel like we are a valuable contributor to our society you know that our life means something and the life of our group means something and our culture is important and it matters in the real in the grand scheme of things that is the kind of uh, service that people require to actually live but the thing is that that is a cross to cross to it you know it's an instinct this high group esteem if you have few highly about your group it helps uh create cohesiveness in the group and harmony in the group when you look at groups with the high self-esteem high self-esteem uh it is very easy for them to come together to make things happen i mean it is very easy for them to come together to make things happen. When you look at, let me say, for instance, China, Chinese have a high group esteem about their group. Uh, Japanese, uh, J uh, Japanese, uh, Koreans, and Americans, the uh, white people, you know, they have an high group esteem because they have been introduced to uh, interesting, I mean, uh, pri a proud achievement of their group. I mean, when you look at the way they talk, I mean the way you they relate to you, you see this, you see this in, in the way they relate to you. That we, uh, my group did this, my group did this. Uh, but the thing is that it is an instinct, you know. This kind of instinct that actually bring cohesiveness in the group can, in an instant, actually repel others. It means that it defines others as outsiders. That is the issue. That is the issue with this, you know. It defines others and outsiders. And the thing is that your group can actually f find esteem even you can find your self-esteem you can find your self-esteem in even atrocities committed by your group that you profit from let me say uh for instance your your group can pillage and uh, and rob and kill others and uh it could enrich your group and uh, still you feel 
like you're a valuable contributor in your, in your society and your group actually has a mean and that is the moral dilemma of, of of this whole thing of this whole thing you know the moral dilemma it is one of the reasons why you can actually you can't actually uh uh completely i don't know i don't know how to completely factor it in because this is a, a philosophy in progress and that happens there is this uh study that was conducted by Imichua. Uh, Yale University, she wrote the book about Triple Package, about why uh, first uh, uh, generation immigrants are very successful abroad, but and uh, their compatriots, like even white Americans, they are not as successful as first generation Nigerians, they are not as successful as first generation Indians, immigrants, uh, not even as, as, China, as much as Chinese, you know. Why is that? The, the and one of the things they they found she found was that they have a, uh, the people individually they have a, 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 an high group esteem, a high self esteem when when they try to achieve you know they have a high self esteem and so you know if self esteem can factor into your if self esteem can factor into your achievements and your group esteem can factor into your self esteem you know how best can we, uh, uh, can we categorize this it it affects your your self image. Now let us look at the uh, in uh, achievement. You know, when Alan Alan Oyema, I know I love the guy. I love the man. You know, I, I saw his interview on Arise with his glasses. You know, a very interesting man. Uh, very articulate. Uh, he, he he knows what he's doing, and uh, I know I'm inspired by that kind of that kind of guy, the business guy, and. Uh, you know that's because I've always, as as a child, I've always dreamed of actually uh, 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 venturing into the airline business. I'm actually broke. I don't think I, I don't know. I'm not sure if that is is a possibility in my future. But seeing someone actually live out my dreams, even though you know, I've been on these airlines since, since the launch launch of uh, uh, London route. I, I I've been there. I mean twice, and you know it just inspires me actually, and so. I digress. Uh, 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 it's in too much segregation. This, the, the, the achievement, when he saw that, uh, he, he felt this is what he has achieved. I mean, I understand, uh, an Igbo man, you know, getting that done. I mean, that was the reason why he actually, they were, they were actually wearing an uh, Igbo team dress, dress, you know. But, but the outcry to that was actually, uh, I do not agree with it, but I actually understand it. The thing is that Epis, everyone from every uh, ethnic group in Nigeria, we actually they were they, they were actually rooting for Epis, you know. <laughs> they, they've supported, they've they were they've been looking for it to, to towards towards it, and they supported it and all. And especially your wife, I mean, honestly, the thing is that the, that that cry has been misinterpreted, and they were like. Oh, man, I've been looking for you. Where's my representation? <laughs> Where's my representation? You know, guy, this is... If, if, we, if we were to put this off with you, you wouldn't like it. Honestly. I, I, honestly, there are some dimwits, you know. You know, that they were like, they, they were like, uh, uh, epics with you. It won't feel. I hope it doesn't. I pray it doesn't. I don't, I'm not religious. I hope it doesn't. They had to do it that way, but but that was what mo- mostly it was about because uh, group achievements and uh, this sense of self, uh, uh, a sense of self worth actually, and it's a great achievement that an airline, you know, that was this guy that was on my WhatsApp, on my Twitter, that was arguing with me. Oh, why do people did this? Why do people did this? And I, and I was like, what does he have to do with you? I said, when you put it, I'm, I'm, I'm like, what does he have to do with you? He said, your phone carrier right now is not, I'm saying, I'm, I'm using glue, even though I wasn't using glue, I use MTN. And, I, and he said, your phone is, it was a, by, by, by a white guy, and I was like, wow, that is, I didn't go. He said, and he's a, uh, he's a Yoruba man in uh, Lagos. I was, I, he was Nigerian in Lagos. That, and, and that was all I, I came up to him, and, and I was like, what does this have to do with you? He said, white people do this, white people do this. What does this have to do with you in particular? He was so pissed off because I couldn't. I, I'm, I was like, "Why people did this? Can you put it on your CV?" And that is the, the most important thing, you know. What I want to actually stress out: it isn't. Yeah, self-esteem is very important. Group esteem is very important. 
But what I've discovered is that it doesn't factor into your aptitude. Honestly. It doesn't factor, at least to some particular, to a significant degree that it makes no real difference. When you're actually try, trying to communicate your own capability, it doesn't matter. You can't, if you don't know to plus two, you can't say you would you would know it because uh, what is saying? Come one Nobel Prize and you're a Yoruba man. Oh, I learned you a man Igbo man actually did this, you know. It doesn't work that way, and and you have to understand that the reason why you feel like your the the achievement of someone in your group that has nothing to do with you, that has to do with you, is because of your yearning for self-esteem. And you're yearning for group based team. You have to understand this. And it is so so to me so so as to make it seem like your culture actually matters. You have to do, of course we can't completely extricate ourselves from this group instinct, you know. But you have to understand your motivations and your drive. You have to understand your motivations and your drive. You can't actually completely diversity, you know. It is just like actually seeing the world cup like it isn't it isn't worth anything because of course i'm not the one playing the world cup what does it matter to me and it's i don't just nigeria i'll be there in the world cup cheering for nigeria you know i'll be there in the, at the world cup cheering for nigeria and if i wasn't if nigeria was out of the tournament i would be cheering for another uh, another black because and, and and it is my instinct you know it's my instinct when senegal was playing uh egypt was this senegal playing egypt you know uh at the uh world cup final the instinct of everyone at the football Vin station was to actually support selling guy because they look like you know, black guys, you know. So you can't completely divorce this, but you have to understand that you know it is not the justification. It is not a justification to actually be hateful, to be insulting. I mean, it is not a justification and doesn't factor into your attitude. It doesn't matter if a Yoruba man won ten Nobel prizes. If you don't know to pursue, you don't know it. It's simple. You can't put it on your CV because it doesn't factor into your aptitude, at least to a particular degree. Of course, to a particular degree, and also that self-esteem that you are yearning for, that li- like your life matters, you know, the like you know, you are a valuable contributor, that you you belong to a valuable group, you know. It is something that you can get somewhere else. It is not like it is completely divorced from other realities, from other groups. You can actually look at the life of Marcos Muzagavi. He's a fascinating man. And I look at his work, his effort, going, going to prison. I mean, he's being spied on by the FBI. And, I, and I'm inspired, just like I'm inspired by Alain Noema, you know. And I'm inspired, I'm inspired, you know. That kind of, it's li- a little bust, you know, you see that kind of man and you feel like you can do this too. You can do this too. You can do this too. It is a man just like you. You can look at the life of Nelson Mandela and just like you are finding that kind of self of self what you are looking for in Alan Alan Oyema becoming uh uh creating that uh uh, uh pioneering his airline through uh, London the London I, I, hope, I hope that is the beginning. I mean you can actually feel that kind of uh self-esteem somewhere else even better still in yourself in your own individual achievement you know you can find it somewhere else even just by watching a single maybe it is the the, the uh, uh, assembly of the avengers and i know and I, I know people actually feel fascinated by these movies and 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 you, you see you see uh, uh the avengers actually fighting like Thor when they were fighting and you know what he was a drunk you know and and he was like seriously he just pulled his his uh uh armor and 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 there was this electric shock charging through his body and and i felt great watching that 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 you know that of course superheroes right they mean they make us feel better about ourselves and i felt this electric shock running through my body when i when i saw that for the first time so it's great you know it's it's great you can find it somewhere else and you have to understand it is completely divorced from your aptitude and the reason why you are doing that is just make you feel like your life is worth something. When in the grand scheme of things, it, it isn't actually. You will die. We all die. Honestly, be nice to each other.